How much today is Jota worth? What's the 9th of August assessment of the former Benfica player? Well, they would sell him, but if they had to sell him tomorrow, they'd, they'd double what they paid for him. Right, so that's £12 million and, and obviously, look, yep. he's got, he's got okay. to improve. Sure. He's absolutely ripping it up at the minute. You know, involved in all three goals for Celtic at the weekend. He can score, he can assist, he can take players on, he can go around the outside, he can cut inside, he can shoot from 30 yards, yeah. he can he can put it on somebody's head, <laughs> you know, from wide. He's the full package right now, but he's got to keep being consistent. Yeah. He's got to win Celtic trophies, he's got to win them leagues, you know, and, and this is what's going to take him forward. What you would say is there's bigger tests ahead. Yeah. You know, the Champions League will be the acid test for a lot of the Celtic players who have never been there before and they want to go and stamp their authority in the Champions League. They want to go and show what they're all about. They want to go and showcase themselves. And Jota is going to be eventually an, another day add to that long line of players who have come into Celtic. Celtic have improved them, their values increased and they'll get a huge profit at the other end. When you think of Victor Wanyam and you know, uh, Virgil van Dijk and Edward and Dembele, uh, Christopher Ayer, for example, as well. Yeah. I know he's a defender, yeah. but just that that's the model. You bring them in. Jeremy build. Frink, Paul. Yeah, look, at the well, back. Yeah, an, an, an incredible exactly. piece of business. We so, have to be careful, yeah. Paul, how we word things because through the week it appeared on a, a couple of newspapers that I actually said Matt O'Reilly was worth 50 million, which no, I, you did, didn't. I didn't no. say. No, you didn't. All I said I was if Madison goes for 50 million, he's not, and, and O'Reilly came in for 1.5. He is not 50 times the player O'Reilly is. And you asked myself and Craig Moore, and I'm putting this out there, mm -hmm. and we both said Matt O'Reilly is worth 20 million plus if you had to yep. really maximise what you can get for him in terms of what he's shown already. So when people put in newspapers, mm -hmm. John Hartson has put Madison 50 million O'Reilly, it's cobblers. You know, it's absolute cobblers. But this is what you're doing now. We are saying... Uh, Jota, what's he worth? I've said if you sold him tomorrow, I'd say double his. He yeah. might be worth more. Sure. You might somebody might pay thirty. You're only you're only as good mm. as what somebody's prepared to pay but for you. But also, you're shopping in different markets. Mm. You know, the, the English Premier League. Yeah. Is, and we know uh, that is a yeah. completely different sure. financial Just playground. Just be careful what you're saying, what, Craig, because you'll be quoted. Uh, uh, no, but <laughs> at least they're quoting no, but you. Absolutely. But, you know, sure. The English Premier League is a completely yeah. different mm. level to where the Scottish Premiership is at. But that just shows the work that Ange Postecoglou and the staff have done that they can go and get Matt O'Reilly for 1.5 million and his value like Jota will and like Cameron Carter-Vickers will if they can you know, go and showcase themselves in the Champions League that's where their value will really go on an upward trajectory when they can do it against the top teams and they can score goals and Van they can Dijk's a games. perfect example for that Van Dijk went to Southampton from Celtic yeah. Neil Lennon recruited him through with his recruitment John Park whoever was with Neil at the time Whatever it was, was it f six million or something what, from? What they bought him for? They're not buying for. Who, oh yeah, they bought, they bought him for much less. Like, even two less, and, half, and then he goes, to, he goes to Southampton for I yeah. think it's about twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Then he becomes the best defend, the most expensive defender in the world, and mm. goes to Liverpool for seventy-five million. Yeah. So what people are trying to say was, will a player ever skip? the Premier League and go for 75 million no. direct. Do you know why, no. John? Because see, likes the Liverpools and Man United's and Chelsea's and Arsenal's, the, the ones with the big money. Nowadays, they want the complete player. They would rather spend the 75, pound, 75 million pounds and get it right rather than spend 30 and they're not too sure. Mm. You know, that's the way it's going to go. I mean, it, look at the boy Cucurella. Cucurella, 63 Cucurella. million. And he went for 16, <laughs> 16 or 15 last summer. Yeah. Mm. So they've now looked at him and thought, no, he's the player we want. Do we have to pay that? We'll pay it. They yeah. would rather go and get it right than maybe take a risk. It's gone mad, hasn't it? <laughs> it's it's, it's a incredibly inflated market, isn't it? It's, it's 